Good morning, world. This is Mary Bartnikowski, and I am talking about changing your life. Well, I was thinking about something very practical today, how oftentimes, um, well, it depends on how often, but sometimes people want you to do something that you don't want to do, and uh, I thought about something that happened to me several years ago when uh, my first book was about to come out. And um, I'm pretty, looking back on it, um, it's, it's an interesting story about not letting someone who you think is more uh, something than you, <laughs> more powerful or whatever, push you around. Um, so here's what happened. I was at a writer's conference where the year before I had gotten my first publishing contract. So we were going to be speaking, me, my publisher, and a hotshot LA lawyer. That's actually how they described her in the conference speaking notes. <laughs> and somebody else, I can't remember who. Anyway, um, about 20 minutes before we were supposed to go on stage, she came up to me and said, you know, I've got an idea about for you. Um, I was thinking that I'd like to have you sit in the audience and then I'd introduce you as a special guest because I just don't know how to incorporate you into the speaking platform. Now, she's not the one that asked me to speak. I was asked by the conference and this is a really big conference that uh, even Ron Howard was attending. Um, I was pretty appalled that she was trying to take me off the stage. so. I just calmly said, no, it's important for me to be up there because I got a publishing contract after going to this conference. A lot of people would want to know how that happened. And she said, oh, oh, yes, I know, but I just don't really know how I'm going to. I said, well, I'll be up on the stage with you and smiled. And that was really the first time I think in my whole life that something great was going to happen to me that uh, my way was being so obviously barred. Um, because then I would just be somebody insignificant sitting in the audience, not anyone that, you know, when you introduce someone in the audience, that's, it's not like speaking on the stage, which I had been asked to do. Anyway, I tell this story because, um, later when I told my publisher that she had done that, she was completely appalled and angry. And I thought, uh... Wow. And we, me and my publisher did really well on that uh, talk. And a lot of people came up to us afterwards and told us how well we did and we were funny. And um, so it was interesting to think how a little thing like that, if you weren't feeling good about yourself, could make you say, oh, okay, I'll accept your um, very low opinion of me and do what you say. Um, I'm a free agent, as we all are, and we have the right to uh, say no to people that want us to do things that we don't want to do, or um, say no to people that want to limit us in ways that would not be beneficial for us, especially when we're being given an opportunity and someone is trying to take that away from you that has no authority to do that. Um, you know, because it wasn't like the presenters were saying, oh, we don't have enough time or whatever, you know, and then you work with that. It was an entirely different thing. So what I want to leave with you with today is if something hits you in your gut that feels really wrong and is going to be uh, not beneficial for you, you have every right to calmly say no. And this will help you to feel better about yourself because... Um, you don't have to surrender to everything. You don't have to go with the flow with everything. If it's something that you don't want to do, you can say no. So I'll leave you with that, and I'll see you in the next video. And uh, please come to Kauai. I am, uh, I've got a new website. I'm going to leave it in the description below. Um, KauaiRetreat.yoga. Learn photography and yoga. But it's really about reinventing your life and escaping, recharging, and rejuvenating. So I'll see you in the next video. Aloha.